Hey, what's going on, guys? Matthias here. So it's been a about a full year since I put out my video for my uh, Jerry Harvey Audio uh, Roxanne in-ear monitors, and I noticed, you know, decent amount of views on it. So I wanted to follow up and uh, kind of just give you guys some insight on, you know, how was my experience with the inner monitor so far and just kind of some of the things I like, some of the things I disliked and just to kind of give you guys some more insight. So if you're uh, checking out Jerry Harvey audio, um, you can kind of have a little more idea on, you know, what you're getting into. So let's go. <laughs> so to get started, uh, I hate those videos that like wait forever to tell you, you know, what you want to hear about these things. Um, still have my Jerry Harvey audio. Roxanne's. Um, I got a lot. I, I can't lie here. I mean, these things, they sound absolutely amazing. Um, I was playing a lot last year and unfortunately, you know, COVID and everything else now, not so much, uh, but I still do use them even when I'm actually monitoring uh, just here at my home studio and, you know, working on tracks and stuff. Um, they still look great. The only thing, so let's start with one thing I wasn't really super crazy about. Uh, the cable did go out fairly quick but I mean to be honest and to be fair I was performing pretty much every single weekend so you know just something to keep in mind um, the cables will go bad so definitely buy a backup I did have a backup with me it's not like it gave out in the middle of a show or anything like that so that was the good thing at least but I did notice there was starting to get a little wear and tear especially here um, actually right by the, the in-ear monitor itself um, as far as the audio quality you know you, you can't beat it I mean there's a reason why the biggest artists in the world use these in-ear monitors. The only thing that I say was a little bit of a letdown and, and, and kind of sucked was, you know, I did have a mishap with this guy and it did fall um, and it did crack. Now, in all fairness, I mean, is it is it a build thing? No, it, it fell onto um, basically like a concrete floor, so it, you know, I would probably, I'm sure any, anything that's kind of made of acrylic would eventually break, um, especially from that kind of force. Um, it didn't fall, it's not like I smashed it or anything like that, it just, it fell and, and it cracked. Um, I did send it into Jerry Harvey Audio and they did actually fill it. Um, I mean, I mean, honestly, they just, they did such a good job, I can barely see it. It's, it's somewhere in there, you probably can't see it on camera, but, um, they did a really good job. They did turn around for me fast. I had to play a show the next weekend and they ended up actually shipping it out to the location where I was playing, so that was really cool. Um, the only thing I would suggest, and I highly suggest it, I will put the link down below. Um, I did end up purchasing like insurance for them, um, just because the insurance cost was a little expensive, and if you do have um, like this musician's insurance, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll, again, I'll put the link down below. Um, it definitely would have saved me some cash, you know? So definitely something to consider is Obviously, ensure your equipment. Uh, lesson learned on my end. Um, but again, guys, I mean, they sound great. They're they're a great product. Um, you know, as far as being able to perform on stage with them, I mean, it's it definitely saved my hearing. I was next to a drummer sometimes, and that gets loud, as you guys may know. Um, you know, I could hear myself perfectly fine. I mean, obviously, uh, a key component to this whole thing is. You know, you got to make sure you have someone who really understands how to mix your in-ears or if you're mixing on your own, you know, maybe looking at a system where you can kind of be able to go through and really set your levels the way you want to set them. Um, you know, as, as me as a vocalist, I, I really enjoy being able to kind of have control and being able to hear my voice. But I definitely, looking back at shows, and I'll, I'll throw some of those in here, I mean, you can hear uh, the, the improvement from being able to actually just hear yourself and not having to be on, like, uh, wedges in the front of the stage is a night and day difference because um, you can actually hear yourself. So again, if you guys are looking for, you know, a really like a long-term investment, I would say um, Jerry Harvey Audio is definitely the way to go. I I have no complaints in terms of the sound. They sound amazing. It's like you have a concert going on in your ears. So um, obviously just make sure you get the right mix and be careful with them. 
insure them because they are not cheap to fix. Um, and mine was just the acrylic, so I could only imagine if something actually really got damaged on them. Uh, so definitely insure them. You know, if you're if you're purchasing something like this, it definitely makes sense just to get you know some kind of insurance. And like I said, I'll I'll put that link down below. Um, but yeah, guys. I mean, again, here we are a year later. I'm hoping that by this coming year, I'll be back on stage and being out there performing again. But I really love them. I love Jerry Harvey Audio. And um, yeah, guys, check them out. Thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you soon. Peace.